Here's what we're going to do. We have a circle like this, and I'm going to lay a flat side of this down here, and I'm going to spin in circles. See how I'm not moving at all. I'm just spinning. Now that I'm spinning a little while and practicing that circle, I'm going to move my way across the board. As I'm spinning, my arm is moving up and down, up and down, up and down, so that I have a row of rolling trees. When you do a bunch of trees together, you draw them differently than when you draw one tree. You draw one tree like this and draw the trunk. Here, that doesn't even look like trees yet. It is a ruffle while we have spun in a circle like this. And we've worked our way across. Now, we come through here now with a stroke like this to establish the water line. And in the process of doing that, we have left some convenient open space, which serves as a very nice place to put some trunks. Now, the whole time I'm spinning in a circle here, I am creating four sharp edges all the way around. And it's with those sharp edges that I do a light stroke and I put some trunks in here, some tree trunks in that woods. Now that we've drawn these trees, we're going to put a reflection there. And the way we do that is the same thing we did up here, we're going to do on the water. And we're going to do it a little bit lighter. So we start over here, we lighten up quite a bit. We're spinning in circles, don't forget that. And we're working our way across there. Now, whatever is above the water is below the water. In the same height, in the same width, exactly. And it's going to be split right where it hits the water, it's going to repeat itself. So if I've got this much space up here, I'm going to have this much down here. So we want to go back and try to match up the general shape of what's above by putting it on the water like this. Okay? If that's a little rough, sometimes we blend it like this just a tad. And what is above the water is now on the water. When we're done with this, we're going to take white. And we're going to draw a line through there. We draw this line like this. You say, why do you draw that line like that? Why not like this? You know, one of the tricks I learned just a few years ago was that if I set this chalk down on the long corner, it's going to naturally drive itself in a straight line. But if I use this point here, it's going to wave up and down. This water is flat. Water that's not flat is a waterfall, okay? So we're going to draw this flat. So I lay that whole long corner down, and I push that, just drive it this way, and it comes out straight. Then I put a few thin, stray lines a little closer to me. If the water is completely like glass, and there's no waves because of wind at all, it, you won't see any of those lines. It would be a perfect image of what's above. But the more waves there are, the more that reflection spreads out, the more there are gaps in it. So we just indicate, well, because there's rarely ever is there a time when there's no wind at all, we just barely blend a little bit. This is our first reflection where we draw the trees, and then we draw them on the water.